Horse and Hound Cup. It's a class two race and it's a bumper. Three mile, four furlong. Scott's grave from the Nicky Henderson's yard. He's been a good old servant. He's still tw 12 years old and he'll be ridden by Sam Whaley Cohen. That's at seven to two. Joe Blake at four to one. Vinnie Boy, nines, eight, seven to one. Knife Edge is also at seven to one. Gallic Dawn is at eight to one. Kamitska is in at 11 to 1. La Parson 12 to 1. Cannon Bridge is at 14 to 1. 29th running of the Potemps Cup Horse and Hound. And as they go towards the first of the 21 fences, it is Scott's Grey who leads the way. Scott's Grey out in front, Cannon Bridge in second. And then Vinnie Boy now just taken back through the field as they go over the first. La Passing didn't get very high at the first fence. Didn't make a serious error, but uh, wasn't as fluent as some. Joe Blake and Cool Find held up towards the rear of the field as they go towards the ditch. Scott's Grey and Cannon Bridge the first two. And Knife Edge hit that hard. He makes a bad mistake last year's winner at fence number two. He almost sent Alan Berry over his shoulder, but uh, Alan has kept the partnership intact, but that was a significant error by the reigning champion as they go off the mound and on towards fence number three, and it's Scott's Grey who leads. Measured that fence beautifully, the leader, and they are all safely over. Indeed, they all jumped that one well. Now, they often go off very fast in this race, but they're not going a great tempo in the early stages here. And Sam Whaley Cohen is having it pretty easy on the front end on Scott's Grey. He's out in front by a length and a half. It's Cannon Bridge racing in second. And then Yeoman Sailor the Greys in third. The Mayor Kumakista is in fourth. Royal Hector in the Vivid Yellow racing in fifth. Followed by Beecham Oracle on the inside in sixth and back nine. And after back nine is Gallic Dawn on the inside. The Big White Blaze belongs to Knife Edge as they come up now towards the the first in the straight fence number four Vinnie boy is taken quite wide as they cross over that one Joe Blake cool find and the passing at the back of the field quickly they go over the fifth Scott's gray puts in a shorty there got in tight Royal Hector blundered and also at the back of the field the passing clashed in the air with Vinnie boy and the passing almost got rid of Tom Greenall who has kept that partnership intact but they're still going a crawl here as they go on now towards fence number six Scott's gray on the inside on the outside is Cannon Bridge in the red and white checks cannon bridge jumps to the lead scott's gray over in second on the inside in third yeoman sailor followed by kuma kista who's racing in fourth the red silks the next gray on the inside is beecham oracle as they head down the side of the course with royal hector knife edge back nine gallic dawn cool fine joe blake la passing and vinnie boy gets his first wake-up call a slap down the neck as they go over the next which was fence number seven and vinnie boy was very awkward in the air he hasn't jumped with that much fluency so far for Nick Schofield. He's very skew with in the air over that. They go now towards another open ditch. Cannonbridge on the outside. Scott's Gray and Cannonbridge almost over jump there. And they've definitely quickened up now that the two leaders are eyeballing each other. A reassuring tweak of the ears from Di Jones to Cannonbridge, having made that slight mistake at the previous fence. So now they have completed one circuit in the 49th running of the Potemps Horse and Hound. They go down the back straight again. Scott's Gray to the inside. Cannonbridge towards the outside. And they've quickened up now and they've gone clear by seven lengths to Kuma Kista who is racing in third and then in fourth is Yeoman Sailor back nine uh, was a little bit slow over that has now dropped the tail of the field has only got the passing and Vinnie boy behind Vinnie boy can get behind in these races though so no worries for his supporters just yet as they go towards the halfway point and that was another open ditch cool fine didn't get very high there again not a serious error but he wasn't as fluent as some so over the mound they go the through the halfway point in the 49th running of the Potemps horse and round on the inside that is Scott's gray on the outside is cannon bridge these two locking Horn, Scott's Grey a length advantage. Kuma Kista was over in third, and at that point, Knife Edge has come off the bit. He's now been ridden along for a few strides by Alan Berry as they make the turn on now towards fence number 12. Scott's Grey, a slender lead. Cannon Bridge's shadow to the outside. Cannon Bridge has now put his white blaze in front. Kuma Kista's in third, and Yeoman Sailor is racing in fourth position, followed in fifth by Royal Hector, and then on the inside is Gallic Dawn, who's stalking the leaders. Knife Edge then towards the outside, Cool Fine, followed by by Joe Blake. Beecham Oracle has lost a good early position. Back nine is Nexla passing and Vinnie Boy still at the back of the field as they go over the 12th. The first of three in the home straight Cannon Bridge and Scott's Gray. A mistake by Knife Edge towards the outside as quickly they go towards the 13th. Cannon Bridge and Scott's Gray. Cannon Bridge didn't get very high and they are all safely over. Once again Vinnie Boy was ponderous at the back of the field. A circuit to go in the horse and hound. Out in front it's Cannon Bridge now to Scott's Gray in second. Knife Edge in third. Kuma 
Bautista four. Rua Hector's going nicely, racing in fifth position. Gallic Dawn on the inside, six. Cool Finds getting closer in seventh. Yeoman Sailor is in eighth. Knife Edge again didn't get very high at that next plane fence. Joe Blake is stalking them up now towards the inside as Yeoman Sailor beats a retreat. Towards the outside is back nine, followed by La Passing. Beecham Oracle is also still towards the rear, and Vinnie Boy is absolute last as they go now towards fence number 15. Cannon Bridge and Scott's Grey, these two still locking horns as they crossed over the seventh from home. Kuma Keese the mares towards the inside together with Gallic Dawn. Cool Find is still going awesomely well at the moment in the dark blue and green for Stuart Morris. Towards the outside, ridden along his knife edge as they crossed over the ditch. Cool Find there made a mistake. He was bumped into by Kuma Keesta. Now they begin to make the turn down the back and now the taps are turned on for real. Towards the outside is Cannon Bridge. Scott's Grace the inside. Back in third is Cool Find. Kuma Keesta's ridden along in fourth. Gallic Dawn is in fifth. Joe Blake still going well in sixth the inside. Royal Hector is in seventh, taken wide out on the track. Knife Edge is racing in eighth, but although he's eighth, he's still only around about five lengths off the leaders, who Scott's Gray on the inside. Cannonbridge got low. Cool Fine, Kuma Keister, Royal Hector. Then Gallic Dawn now being driven along. Then Joe Blake, La Passing is staying on. Knife Edge is beating a retreat. Yeoman Sailor, followed them by Back Nine. Then Beecham Oracle and Vinnie Boys not having a going day today, it would appear, as they crossed over the final ditch, and that was the fourth from home. Vinnie Boy was pulled up, so they go over the mound. On now towards a third from home, and it is the mayor, Kuma Keister, and Ran Morgan to the inside. Scott Gray and Sam Whaley Cohen on the outside. Back in third is Joe Blake. A mistake in fourth by Cool Find. He was overtaken by La Passing. Then Royal Hector. Gallic Dawn is next as they make the turn in the Potemps Horse and Hound. And it's the mayor, Kuma Keister, who is out in front last year's winner of the John Corbett. In hot pursuit now is the Irishman, Joe Blake, and Derek O'Connor in second. The petrol gauges run out for Scott Gray on the inside. Round the outside, La Passing. Cool Find is staying on, followed by Royal Hector and Gallic Dawn, and then back nine, down towards the final furlong and a half. They've just got two fences to take. Kuma Keesler stands side. Joe Blake for Ireland over on the far side. Joe Blake jumps the lead. Kuma Keesler tries to kick back to the near side. The passing is in third. The final fence. Joe Blake's out in front. He led by a length and a half to Kuma Keesler, racing up towards the line. It is Joe Blake out in front. Joe Blake wins the Potemps Horse and Hound for Ireland. Joe Blake to Kuma Keesler, game in defeat. Cool Fine was third. La Passing fourth. Back nine. Royal Hector, Gallic Dawn, and then back in the field, Scott's Grey. Well, first number six, Joe Blake, seven or two, a 13 year sorry, 12 year old. I was putting a year on him, still in tremendous form. Cool McKister at 10 to 1, and Cool Find at 18 to 1 was back in third.